All right, let's go ahead and look at this. Um, again, ladies and gentlemen, to I, done, I uh, understand concavity, we got to make sure that we are looking at our second derivative. So we're going to go ahead and take the second derivative. So first take the first derivative. Let's take the second derivative. Then we need to identify our possible points of inflection. So we set our second derivative equal to 0. And now what we need to do is obviously solve for x. So we're going to use some factoring techniques. I can factor out a 12x. If I factor out a 12x, I get x minus 2. So therefore, I can say x equals 0 and x equals 2 are possible inflection points or possible points of inflection. Okay, now we need to go and take a look at our intervals. So I'll say from negative infinity to 0, 0 to 2, and 2 to 0. I'll choose some test points. I'll test x equals negative 1, x equals 1, and x equals 3. And again, all I need to do is plug these into my second derivative to determine if they're going to be positive or uh, negative. Where did I put that? Okay, so as what you guys can see is by using these tests, and again, I'm just doing the math in my head. Um, for you guys, I know I could possibly work all of these out, but to save myself some time, I'm not going to evaluate. I can just, I notice that when squaring that, a negative times a negative, that's going to be a positive, right? And again, I don't even need to have the right value all the time. Sometimes you're going to get points where you might not be able to do them in your head. But if you think about this, if I have a negative number, you square it, that becomes positive. Negative times a negative is positive. It doesn't matter really what negative number I put in here. It's always going to be positive, right? And so just using some of that kind of um, thinking. Now, obviously, the one you'd want to maybe, you know, just double check, make sure it's negative, and then you see 3, that really the 9 times 12 is going to be much larger than um, 24 times 3. So that's how that ends up being back into the negative. So therefore, then we get to our last one is a conclusion. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we get into our writing portion of it, right? So I'm going to say what the writing portion is, but to save us a little bit of time, I'm just going to write if it's concave down or up. But basically, you'd say, since f double prime negative 1 is greater than 0, we could say that um, f of x is concave up on the interval negative infinity to 0. <laughs> right? Here, you could say, since f double prime of 1 is less than 0, um, our f of, um, f of x is going to be concave down on the interval of 0 to 2. That's what you'd want to write all the way out. But I'm just going to save myself some space. And then this one is concave up. Okay. And then last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we notice that it goes from concave up to concave down, concave down to concave up. So we could write two statements because we don't want to just say it changes. We want to say what it's changing from. So we could say since. Um, from actually, how did I write that? Have double prime. You got this, sir. Okay. 
So make sure when we're labeling our points of inflection, we want to just say, we want to make sure that we're describing how it's a point of inflection, not just saying since F double prime is changing signs, it's a point of inflection. Go the extra step and say since F double prime is changing from having your phone on your lap to positive to negative, now, since it's changing, the double prime, that means it's changing, that since the double prime of x or, um, is changing from positive to negative, that means the concavity is changing. So therefore, I could say that the point, um, where is my point? x equals 0. At x, wait, where is it changing from positive to negative? Yeah, at x equals 0. And then at x equals 2, the point, and then you could plug in 0, 0, 0, 2 is a point of inflection. And you could do the same thing here. Um, tell the point <laughs> 2 and whatever 2 would be at that point would be a point of inflection, okay? But my main, main mode for you guys is, yes, you can do a lot of this stuff very, very like quickly and easily.